Your brother. Did you and he get along? Yeah. We got along how brothers do. He used to throw water on me to wake me up in the morning. I used to fill his boots with stinging ants. My... Hmm? Indeed. Duke Avar looks to the knights for prudent counsel as well as defense. This elder of yours, he may have returned a drunk or an invalid. Maybe, but the search for Persok is just as important as what I find. Is that right? And what if you return empty-handed, huh? I never return empty-handed. And this gash he- There. Mauled by a bear seven years ago. Oh yeah, look here. And here. Once the bull had me properly hooked on its horns, things got worse. I am seen, but the eyes of others do not remember. You were the first to see me as I am, the call stripped aside. Your memories, a cadence of wheels on a caravan track, fever, questions by running water, 
The storm that brushed you, did its screaming wake you from your mind's cradle? Your memory of it is painful. Its cry is difficult to ignore. You are able to see me. To see me is a rare gift. A watcher's gift. So many questions, thoughts, whirling like storm winds. The fact that you could hear it at all, survive it, is something few have ever done. Your power will grow stronger with each soul you touch. Safe travels. Hmm? Your mind comes back. The title came unbidden. Their eyes see me, but their minds will not remember past the call. My face is like the call of a newborn, hiding the face beneath. And for my body, I am able to wrap myself as a mother cradling her child. As a watcher, you see more than others. I do not know. What, what do you speak of? If you were in my thoughts, I could not feel your presence, nor do I know what you saw there. And what did you see in my memories? I would hear you speak of them. Tell me what you saw. Show me what you saw. Where were you? Tell me what you saw. Show me. Tell me what you saw. The stone of the plateau. Its color. Tell me its color. Tell me what you saw. The stone of the plateau. And what did these hands hold? Tell me what you... The stone of the plateau. And what did these hands hold? It was the birthing bell you saw. Has it been so long? forgotten so much. It is a plateau formed of the spirit stone Audra. At its top is set a great bell cradled in the reaching arm of the plateau. In distant times, the great bell served as a Glanfothan watchtower, perhaps. Why they abandoned it, I do not know. Yes, yet... I believe you only saw a small part of the birthing ritual. It is not all in a moment, 
nor in the day. The ritual was one of many steps. It took many tens of years to carve them, but always the child's thoughts were there to guide me, the expectant mother. I could often sense her thoughts and those of her child before she could. I would soothe her, free her from the panic of questions. I would sound the memory of the birthing bell atop the plateau in her mind, Many would come seeking their child's future, or a reading into the child's past, the love. Such things are not mine to see. I meant no offense. I was something else, but because the title Watcher was cast on me, the word carried a weight I had neither earned nor deserved. The world seems filled with such titles. The world has many corners, and in some corners the name Watcher is more known. It is an easier title than others, and at times it is easier to wear. I was able to see the thoughts of others, shape them, and help guide souls. Watcher seemed enough. I drew upon the present. I felt the soul of the mother before me, and used that to tell the child's path to give it a voice. One must guard oneself when drawing upon the thoughts of another. The pain of a mother's rage and disdain. It can be a powerful poison. This is my calling, to show them the life I see before them, and even greater, make them believe it. Even the most strongly worded tells may not be enough to save a child and allow it to be born. If I have the strength to strip away the stem of a mother's spite to expose kindness, weave nurturing from disdain and neglect, then that is my calling. And with the weight of watcher behind my thoughts, these tells gain strength, strength I never possessed on my own. They believed. You must understand, without such weight upon my words, many lives would have been lost, drowned, cast in the lake beyond the bell, now the trail to the lake is lost and reclaimed by the forest, as was meant. What use is a frightened will when a spirit is at stake? Would you let the fears of a mother end her newborn's life? You felt it in the memory, the weight of it, the importance of the child's life. A greater good was done, and children were saved. It is a choice you may be forced to make one day. And when faced with it, you will make the same one. This choice is not yours to make, Watcher. You will do as the world needs, as its children need. It is because I once believed I was one. And I, you. That is a question for you, not I. That is not my name, although if you wish to hang the title on me, I cannot stop you. 
Is that what you see when your eyes fall upon me? The birthing bell. It is where I could draw new souls into the world. How fares your search? What of them? Good. Avar Wolfgren looks to the Crucible Knights as a voice of reason and order. You need waste no more time here. Get to the palace. Make your case to the Duke. With him on our side, all of Deerwood can be mobilized against the Leaden Key, and Theos can be rooted out. I only wish I could be there to see it. I've told you everything you need to know. It's only right that you know everything. When I was younger, before Dunreed Row, I had many suitors, and then I met a man whose mind was a mystery to me. But he understood me. We made a game of my gift. He would ask me about people, and I would tell him what they were thinking. Sometimes the information was very sensitive. And then one day he asked me if I trusted him. I said I did. Next I knew I was donning a silver mask and swearing oaths to Woodica. Using my gift for the leaden key still felt like a game to me, so I did it. I don't like living in the dark. It's a powerless, hopeless feeling. Every day I did things without knowing their purpose. Every day I loved a man without knowing his thoughts of me. One day I disappeared without a word. 
He would kill me for it, and I knew that. It's their rule. I just wanted to see him plunge the knife, because then I would know. But the day never came. I have devoted my years to learning everything I could about him, in hopes I would find some clue as to who he really was and why he felt he had to keep his secrets locked away. And that is truly everything I can tell you about Theos. What of them? You must gather your party before venturing forth. How's the hand? Turning purple. I'd have to cut it off. I warned you not to pet him. Well, if I'm not supposed to pet him, why is he so soft? Well then, answer me this, Master Barash. If you Animancers represent our best hope to cure the legacy, what progress can you demonstrate? As I've said, it isn't about progress, it's about potential. My house would agree, Your Grace. We see great potential in its future. And I suppose your blazing profits during the legacy don't have nothing to do with that, do they, Dominel? You can't have it both ways no more! Animancy goes, or this country goes! So you admit, Master Barask, that Animancy is no closer to stopping the legacy than it ever was. No, we've had many promising experiments. Cadman Azo has shown... Cadman Azo murdered a child! For a complete failure! We should be hanging him right now for what he done! The dozens won't stand for it! There is no need. Master Azo recently passed the Shroud. And while the experiment failed, his work... Ah, our new delegate from the Knights of the Crucible. What makes you say sabotage? The fuck's that even matter? These are people who would toy with the lives of our children! Indeed. Even assuming there was sabotage, is this Animancer Azo not still accountable here? Horseshit! These Animancers can't be trusted! Look at what happened in Heritage Hill! Our supposed protectors from Crucible Keep can't even clean up the messes Animancy leaves! Your Grace, we'd have a much easier time of it if our knights weren't so occupied trying to keep their organization from igniting a revolution on our very doorstep. Heritage Hill is blood on your hands, Justicia! You turn a blind eye and look what happens! 
You've some strange taste in travels, friend. The height of your tails expands with every breath. I had heard whispers of a new delegate set to attend today's hearing. I admit that your candor was mentioned more than once. Tell us what you saw in Heritage Hill. Even if it is as you say, we have testimony that a group of Animancers had been spending time there. Surely their tinkering had something to do with this. Animancy has many enemies. You need only look around this room to see it. You're just... you're missing the point! Everywhere there's Animancers, there's disaster! We all know what Widewind's legacy's really about. And it ain't about some sparkling saint from Creed Ceres who's mad because he took a stroll down the wrong bridge! It's about a bunch of so-called intellectuals fucking with the natural order while the rest of us gotta suffer for it! Is it, though? Should we not take the time to reach a clear conclusion? My son and daughter are buried beneath the floor of my house. We don't own no land, so that's where we lay them. My son. My wife let him slip when she was bathing him. Got water in his lungs he couldn't cough up. My daughter? We put her to bed one night, and the next morning she wasn't breathing. This hollowborn thing? It ain't ending. And it ain't ending, because we still let these charlatans play God. There's your proof, you damn copper fucker! Enough, Adric. Lady Dominel makes a point. If it's animancy, then why do the other states that permit the practice not suffer the same fate? Who among us can say he truly understands why the legacy has taken hold here? Beasts, another lunatic at the hearing. Did you remember to lock your sanitarium before you left, Master Barask? You must know, friend, that the Leaden Key is a mantle for small-time ruffians and children at play. I'm not saying you're a liar. Not yet. But you'd better start making sense of all this. Help us believe you. Another guess! Throw him out on his ass, your grace! He's wasting our time! Uh, I don't know about all of this. You've made an... unexpected case, friend. I'll say that much. It seems we have a new possibility to consider, at the very least. Indeed. This land is foreign to you, unless I miss my guess. Your efforts on its behalf are to be commended. But these hearings are about more than Widewind's legacy, even though that is our most pressing concern. Let's say for the moment that I were to take you at your word that our friends in Brackenberry Sanitarium and their peers bear no responsibility for this curse upon my country. I'm curious, what would you do if you were in my position? Very well. That is all I wish to hear. Not just from you, but from everyone. Many days we've been at this. I want to thank the delegations for helping me to collect my thoughts. In particular, I want to thank our new delegate, who has given me much to think about, and who alerted me to a new enemy I had failed to see. The time has come to choose a direction for the Deerwood. Ramir de Barash, representing the interests of Animancers in Deerwood, step forward. Your Grace. It occurs to me now that my concerns about Animancy may not outweigh its value. Forgive me, Your Grace. We will accept no judgment but our own. What's he doing? No! Avenge the Doom! No, 
No, wait! Stop this! I've given you every chance to end this pursuit. Shall I end it for you? Another time. I am already late. Shall I end it for you? I am already at peace, Grand Inquisitor. Are you? So be it. If you desire no end, you shall have none. I find you guilty of heresy. May the eternal prison bar your soul from passage, for it is beyond redemption. Hmm? Eh? I was a fool to think I could tame these people. You came closer than most. A fine epitaph. No worse than any. What's in Twin Elms? Did you pull that from my thoughts? I've had time to practice. Ah. Uh. I was saving that for someone. Pity. You know this is how it has to be. Prove it. Smoke rises above the city walls in billowing plumes that blacken the sky like a storm. Behind the walls, the riots rage on. Known patrons of Enomancy are forced into hiding as looters ransack their estates and make off with their possessions. Enomancers are torn away from their families and dragged from their homes to be stoned to death in the streets. Word had spread immediately that Duke Avar had been assassinated and that an Enomancer was to blame. 
The city wasted little time in exacting revenge and little effort into evaluating guilt. In the center of it all, Brackenberry Sanitarium burned. And down the lane, Hodred House, the last bastion of stability in the Deerwood, had fallen silent. Now safely outside the city gate, your path points eastward to Twin Elms, where Theos is bound, for reasons that remain mysterious as the leaden key itself. Those are some high walls. They don't look secure from here. Moet Let's go! Lavaru!
Why not? There, done. Would you look at this? It is unlike Kolsch to hire mercenaries. Or foreigners, for that matter. And you are not one of mine. So I cannot accuse you of treason. What has my cousin promised you? Some grand reward? If he had any resources to his name, he would not covet mine. And if he had any honor in him, he would not have tried this here, now, when I have lost so much. A just sentence. much. There is a plague among us here in Gilded Vale. The legacy is but part of it. The rest is fear, heresy, perversion. The flame consumed her, my egret, and our child with it. You are a pawn in Kolsch's designs, and he has kept his motivations from you for a reason. I wonder if you understand what it is you do, or what you might accomplish if you were better informed. You have proven your competence in your way, and had I such an ally, we might together put an end to Gilded Vale's woes, lift the curse once and for all, and in doing so, return us to a life where such strict measures are not necessary. Good, good. The stakes are too high for rash action. So be it. May the twinned god take pity upon your splintered soul.
Why not? Yeah? You must gather...